Two Saturdays from now, the Kindhearted will gather once again to help raise money for the Josie Pearl Memorial Scholarship Fund. The charity fundraiser will feature a live and silent auction with proceeds going towards scholarships for high school students. This year, at least one of which is going to a prep football player from our area, which is a you know a good concern to ours. We'll show you this board again, but ticket ticket information can be had at anchorsawaysoiree.eventbrite.com. I'll say it again: anchorsawaysoiree.eventbrite.com. And here to talk about it is none other than the event organizer, the true life force <laughs> behind it. Uh, we refer to you as Dave Davis's better half, but the world knows you oh. as Stacy Ortiz. <laughs> Stacy, let's first explain by who's Josie Pearl. She's my grandmother. She was my grandmother. She passed away four years ago. She was 98 years old, and she used to live here in Lemon Grove. And she had to drop out of school when she was a little girl. She was born and raised in Paris, Texas. And it was the depression, and she had to work the family farm. So she did not have access to education, and I think she was a bit ashamed about it and a bit embarrassed about it. So, so she, you know, she would have kind of went through life. Hard, she was, had a hard knocks university, basically. Absolutely. She, she made every break she had. As a, you're an educator, yes. Uh, you know, making your own breaks. I, I think you can. Do you feel like that's important? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's um, it's a cause that's near and dear to my heart. When she passed, I thought, how can I start a legacy for her? And working as a school teacher, I've learned that students have a difficult time paying for college. This, when you and I were in college, it was somewhat affordable. But this day and age, it's extremely difficult. They're graduating with enormous debt, and parents have a very difficult time paying for their children. So I want to help them. And I think it's really cool. I think Josie would really be proud of you right now. Let's. Uh, you. you hope to raise 20 grand this uh, on, on the 17th, we which do. will go to at least some of that money is going to go to a high school football player. That's a big announcement for us. This Absolutely. is the first year that we're going to grant a a scholarship specifically to a high school football player. Last year, we had a few apply for this scholarship. And it made us reflect on the fact that not all high school athletes it's earn a, yeah. a scholarship. In fact, a very tiny portion do. Exactly. You know, and, and the athletes sometimes get labeled with that dumb jock label that mm -hmm. is, it's been my experience that it's anything but true. Usually the, the athletes are your most motivated students. Oh, absolutely. Have you found that in the classroom? Absolutely. I, um, as a teacher, I worked with many football players, water polo players, baseball players, and first and foremost, they realize that they have to maintain a certain GPA Just to, to stay on the team, but they also have a sense of discipline, hard work, and tenacity, and I think that that carries over into their academics. All right, we're going to throw the board up again. Tell us uh, what's going to be going on and oh, wh how to get people involved. It is such a fun night. It really is. It's just an evening for folks who have a kind heart, who care about students achieving a higher education. We all come together. We enjoy uh, samples from restaurants here in San Diego, wineries, breweries. We have live entertainment, silent auction items live, and it's beautiful. It's at Sun Road um, Harbor, and so you can see the sunset, gaze out at our beautiful bay, and it's just a great time for a worthy cause. I know you're the life force behind this event, but you do not do it alone. I'm oh, sure there, <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's some sponsors involved, and, and the live auction items. Anything cool that we yes. know about? Philip Rivers autographed football. He autographed the football for us this year, and that will That's fetch pretty a pretty impressive. penny. I bet. Yes, we hope so. And so, how do kids who who might be interested mm -hmm. in receiving these scholarships? Yes. Tell us about that process. How do they come? They to you? need to visit their counselor. And so all of the um, high schools here in San Diego County will receive the application um, at the counseling department. So all the students, all the seniors need to do is visit their counselor and request the um, application. All right, before we let you go, mm -hmm. we have to talk about this piece of video. Baseball history was made last Wednesday when, uh, <laughs> when your other half threw out the first pitch. Now, I razzed him unmercifully, but the truth be told, oh, no. and I'll say this with him while watching, is he exceeded expectations. Uh, <laughs> In he fact, did pretty well, didn't yeah. he? You know, the, as I said on the air, he hit somewhere. It, the Jugs gun said something like low 80s, give or take 30 miles an hour. His, his goal was 60. Since he's turning 60, and it's, what, 60 feet from yeah. the mound to home plate, he wanted 60 miles an hour. But, I mean, what an athlete he is, huh? He, he really is. And, you know, I hooked him up with Torrey Pines baseball coach, Matt Chess. And, and they got in some practice. And Shout out to Matt Chess. Yes.